Anybody have a winner in the fourth? Bossy here. How do you know? Simple enough. Whenever the favorite likes steel helmet in the fourth, the bad ride, it's payday for you. <laughs> Next thing you'll be saying that I had Malone give him that kind of a ride. Maybe. While I'm on the subject, that crack you made about me and your column today is going just a little bit too far. Did I write that? Are you trying to make a chump out of me? You don't need any help. Listen, will you two lay off each other? I'm willing. He's got me wrong. Hey, Mike. There's Foster. Chick Williams got me wrong, hasn't he, Mike? You've known me for a long time. I'm not a bad sort of a guy, am I? Sure, Foster. All right, forget it for now. But I still think there's something smelly about the way Malone rode steel helmet. What do you have, Chick? Oh, yeah. Let me see. Cherry pie, muffins. I'll take a lot of those wrapped in cellophane. Kick you fool. Are you absolutely crazy? Crazy about you. Hey, how about a hamburger? Business before pleasure. One of these days I'm going to sue a hamburger for alienation of affection. <laughs> you were through with gambling. Well, I am. And what are you eyeing that game so eagerly for? Well, I was just looking, that's all. Just looking, huh? Diane, I told you I was through with gambling, and I meant it. Eight my boy, boy. Gator from the Gator. Well, off we go. There it is. The hard way. How much we got there, Smokey? I think it's about ninety dollars And it lays. Come on, grocery boys, bite into that 92, all or any part of it. I'll take five of it. Here's my last four bucks. Here's two of mine. Well, I'll draw down the rest. Little luck there, Smokey. And off we go. Up pop the devil. A.C. Deucey. I pass the dice. Smokey, here's four bits, Smokey. Run over to the feed bag and give Ann this message. Yes, sir. Message given is the best thing I do for four bits. Tell her to meet me at 7th Street at 8 o'clock, got it? 7th Street at 8 o'clock. And if she won't come... Don't worry, she'll come. 7th Street at 8 o'clock. That's right, now beat it. Don't tell her I'm shooting dice, though. Okay. 7th Street at 8 o'clock. 7th Street at 8 o'clock. 8th Street at 7 o'clock. 8th Street at 7 o'clock. Why, hello. Okay. Hello, Miss Ann. Mr. Schick sent me over to tell you to meet him at 8th Street at 7 o'clock tonight. Is Mr. Williams shooting dice? No, ma'am. Now, Smokey, is that the truth? Well, it's kind of the truth. You see, when I left, he was just passing the dice. Then tell him I'll be there. You kind of figured you would, Miss Ann. He's just after making a promise to you not to shoot dice. Now he's at it again. Oh, Chick's all right. He's useless. Oh, he's young, that's all. There's no age limit for being useless. Now, that boy gets good money from the paper. Yet, he owes everybody in town. Oh, he does not. He doesn't, eh? He owes Steve the bookie $400. How do you know? Well, Foster told me. Foster tells you an awful lot, doesn't he? I don't like him a bit, Dad. And I think what Chick says about Foster always... I... I wouldn't say that about a man. Remember, he's... he's been rather nice to us. Hey, Mike. There's been plenty of squawking around here today, Malone, about the way you rode steel helmet. Yeah? Yeah. But well, the only one who didn't squawk was Foster. No? 
What are you going to have? I don't know yet. Give me a cup of coffee and a hamburger, will you, Mike? Bite. No wonder he's such a terrible rider. He does indeed. Maybe he doesn't like our food. Come on, Dice. A little more feed for cheese. He was hot, but he's cool enough. Here we go. And the good little Dice whisper, E left. Well, that cleans me. How about a little eye on you, Chick? No security, no credit. What size is your shirt? I can't give you that. That's the shirt I sleep in. I got a nag, though. I'll shoot that against a hundred bucks. Ah, oh, this is the machine age. What do I want with a horse? How about it, Dave? You'll buy him if Chick wins, won't you? Sure I will. Give him a break, Chick. All right, lay it on the line. With the horse? <laughs> All right, it's a bet. Away we go to Buffalo. And the nag's yours. Really am clean this time. Where? Hey, babe. Come on, boys. Climb on the bandwagon. I'll shoot 50. I'll take 20. I'll take 15. I'll take 10. I made five, huh? All ready and away we go. Wow. Old man trouble. Come on, boys. I'll double up. Shoot a hundred bucks. I'll take I'll, 20. I'll take 30. I'll take I'll 20. 30. I'll take 20. You all better hold your horses, Mr. Chick. If this keeps up, that's all I will be holding. Well, boys, away we go. Wow. Snake eyes. Holy mackerel, what luck. You got a day with the lady, Mr. Chick. Gee, that's right, so I have. Say, Dave, you can buy your horse now. I need some cash. So do I. Worse than I need the horse. Well, I'm going. Feeding time, I guess I'll go. Well, I guess that's a horse on me. Where does Bugs keep his nag? Over number 13, Mr. Chick. 13? Well, I might as well know the worst. Meet me over there later and we'll give him the once over. Hello, sister. Can I give you a lift? I'm going north. Yeah? Well, give my regards to the Eskimos. Where's our horn? In there. Well, let's take a look at him. Okay. Hello, Chick. Hello, Bugs. Well, there she yes. is. What do you think of it? <laughs> well, so that's what a horse is. Yeah, this is the front end. I'd stay away from the other end, though. <laughs> What's the name? Special delivery. Well, why special delivery? Why not? Always first at the post. <laughs> Well, what do you think of it, Smokey? Well, she's got full feet. Uh-oh, of course she has. Come on, Chick, I'll well, be saying so long, Bugs. Say, Mr. Chick, you know it's about feeding time? Yeah, I am getting kind of hungry. I mean it's time to feed the horse. 
Uh oh. Something tells me you're going to have trouble with that. I'll work on that tomorrow. But in the meantime, see if you can't explain to the horse that due to lack of cash and bad dice, we're going to have to postpone our meal till morning. I'll try, Mr. Chick. <laughs> okay, Smokey. Oh, Chick, how are the running, Billy? Great. I had a nice one in the second at Arlington Downs. I can use some of that luck. I'll be seeing you. Come on. Who is it? Friends of Mr. Sweeney's mug, open up. At the quarter, Blue Boy, Fair Alpha, Dark Hill. At the half, Blue Boy, Dark Hill, Fair Althea. They're in a the stretch, Blue Boy by a length, Fair Althea quit, and Dark Hill wins by a length. Blue Boy places, Polaris third by two lengths. It's official. I <laughs> 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 Steve. Well, what's on your mind, Chick? How about a little bet? Well, let's see your money. No, no, you know what I mean. Put this one on the cuff. Nothing doing. Going to be enough already. Well, can't you let another 50 ride with it? I get paid Saturday. I'll pay you back. I yeah, know, but I can't let you use the house's money against the house. Well, I'll let you in on something. This is a loan. I don't want a bet. You know, uh, an emergency? Oh, one of those things. Who is she? She is a horse. Special delivery. Steve, you're looking at the owner, proprietor, and big shot of the Williams Stable. Someday I'll own a thousand head of horses. Of course, I'll own the tails, too. That's just an expression us horsemen use. You didn't buy that, Philly. Well, same thing. I claimed her out of a dice game. Well, kid, I wish you all kinds of luck with her. You'll need it. And she needs hay and oats and bran and other things. Say, those little fillies can eat like they're human sisters. Uh, how about it? Well, I guess I can swing it. How much did you say? Uh, a hundred. Uh, all right, all right, uh, 50, 50. Great, boys, the race. Okay, boys, line up. you two. Don't be bashful. Lots of room for everybody. I'm the press. Chick Williams and the bullet. Never heard of you. Hey, wait a minute. What is All this? All right, Chick. I'll be out on bail in a few minutes. Come on. Get going. Get going. you against a man. He's no good. Guess you're right, Pop. I never want to see him again. But you just wait till I do. <laughs> I'll certainly give him a piece of my mind. friends of mine. They weren't detectives, were they? Now, don't you worry, Mike. I'm watching out for you. For Stevens in the fifth. A little gravy for his hamburger. I can't keep doing this. Now, now, Mike. Nice morning, Ann. Yeah, though you came along. What did you say? I said, yes, lovely morning. Anything wrong, Dad? No, nothing at all.
Hi, Mabel. Hello, Chick. Lovely morning. That's what you think. The boss in a good humor? Marvelous. Good morning, Chief. Where have you been? Now, don't get yourself in an uproar, Chief. I can explain the whole thing. Explain? I've heard enough of your explanations. I have to read about an important raid on a gambling establishment in an opposition paper. Where were you? Now, look. I searched the whole town for you. Well, that's what I'm trying to explain. Well, first of all, explain where you were. Well, that's where I was, in the raid. Oh, well, isn't that just dandy? Wait till the other papers read about this. A bulletin man, nailed as a common gambler. Get out, get out, you're through. You mean through after all these years of faithful service? Through and fired. Well, that's your last word, but it's always customary, you know, the two-week salary thing. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. You owe the cashier two weeks salary now that you're bored. Now get out. Pardon me, Mrs. Doyle. Uh, those bags look familiar. Good. They're yours. Well, I hope you realize they're the same place I sleep. That's right. And this is where you sleep till you pay your rent. But, Mrs. Doyle, now I've got something I want to talk to you about. Nobody wants to buy a horse. Looks like I'm stuck with you, but you're stuck with me too. And what's more, you got a rumor, and an idle rumor at that. So if you want to eat, you got to win. Get me? Take it from me, newspaper works a mug game. Be your own boss, that's what I say. Own a racing stable, for instance. Look at me. An hour ago, I was just a ham reporter. Now I'm a big racing man living at the risk. Hot dog. Now, there's an idea. Speaking of hot dogs, maybe Ann will stake it through a couple of them. Yeah, Ann will stake you. Why, sure, Ann will stake you. Ann will feed the two of you. Anne will wait an hour and a half on a street corner with every other man trying to pick her up. Oh, but honey. For what? A half-witted paper man who goes off and forgets all about her. I don't think. But listen, Anne. Oh, listen, nothing. I spent enough of my valuable time waiting for you last night without wasting any more listening to you now. But listen, Anne. No, you listen. It's just about time. But I was in the cooler. You were what? In jail. Well, I'm not surprised. What for? Oh, I got pinched in a bookie raid. Well, what did they take you for? They knew you were a reporter. Well, these cops didn't. 
And anyway, I'm not a reporter. Oh, of course, I know you could hardly be called one, but... Uh, you don't mean you lost your job. I was supposed to cover the raid for the paper. I covered it all right. And when I got home this morning, I found I was minus. Minus what? A home. Mrs. Doyle threw me out. Oh, well, you are out of luck, aren't you? Well, I guess we'll have to see what we can do. The boys told me you own the racing stable now. Well, let's get busy and make this place look more like home. Let me see now. And get some blankets, and some dishes from the lunch stand, maybe a picture or two, and we'll give it a good clean. Jan, you're a good sport. Well, well. I wouldn't have believed it was possible. Ooh, I've got to get back to the stand and help Dad close up. I'll be in the theater tomorrow. Let me know if you need anything. I will. Oh, so you think she did a good job too, eh? Well. Sunshine. Gee, that swell of you, Ann. Well, if you think I'm going to do it every morning, you're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get your breakfast while it's hot. I've got work to do. See you later. Okay. Thanks a lot, honey. Morning, Mr. Chick. You don't get up very early for a racing man. Say, you all want an exercise, boy? How much for the job, Smokey? Four bits a gallon. You're on. Meet me over at the stable in half an hour. I'll be right over, Mr. Chick. Why don't you stand and bridle, Mr. Chick? Huh? Gee, I never thought of that. Here, hold her. I'll go and borrow some. Hold still, honey. Your papa's going to get you some new steps in. Didn't you forget the horse? Wait till I see what this is I've got. I might be back. Well, I wondered when you were to give this horse some exercise. Well, give me time. It's only 8 o'clock. All right, let go of her, Chick. Give her a slow mile and then let her break when you get to the head of the stretch. And have her fall out when you pass the sand. Hey, what is this? Who's training this horse? I am. It takes more than a typewriter jockey like you to turn out winners. Hiya, Tim. Hi, Ed. Will you lend me your stopwatch? Oh, sure. Now, be a good fella and catch Smokey and break with her at the head of the stretch. Sure. I want to see what Kick Philly can do. Our sure. Philly, you mean. <laughs> oh, sure. Come on. Chick? Your little horse looks like she loves to run. Does she? How can you tell? Oh, I've been around racetracks and horses a long time. Well, Mike, your dad, I mean, wasn't he a trainer or something? He knows a lot about racing. Maybe he was. He doesn't like to talk about it, though. But one thing I do know is that he's a swell dad. Well, they don't make him any better than Mike O'Malley. But I wish he wasn't so friendly with Foster. I don't trust him. You're probably right about Foster, Chick. Do you know he set Dad up at the lunch stand on this track, as well as a lot of other tracks? Well, granted, but it was a straight business proposition, wasn't it? Oh, sure. Gee, but we were pretty much up against it. 
He gave us our start. You know, Dad's been terribly worried lately. He won't tell me what it is. Maybe Frost is pressing him for that money. Oh, forget it, honey. Wait till special delivery grabs a few of those purses, and I'll buy Papa a chain of those coffee pods. Oh, so our lunch stands a coffee pot, huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. shot in the derby. Honest, Sam, there's something bigger than just making a bet in this horse business. A swell feeling to own a good horse. Can't scream. Who's that horse Fogies on? That's special delivery. The little mare Chick Williams won the crap game. Chick Williams, huh? Yeah. Looks like he picked up a sleeper. Contract to me. You're going to ride special delivery in a real race soon. I know that, Mr. Chick, but you owe me eight dollars already. Let's see, that's right. Uh, let me see, eight dollars with interest at six percent. Uh, but if you don't ride for me, you break the contract, and the six percent interest eats up the eight dollars. So you lose everything on account of too much interest. Is that clear? That's clear, all right. Only while the entrance is eating, I got to eat too. Now, don't change the subject. You want to ride special delivery in the King's Plate, don't you? I sure does. I, being owner, want you to ride her. So you've got to keep your weight down. None of this eating helps skelter. Are you sure there's no such thing as keeping my weight too low down? Why, of course not. And Special Delivery runs her first race today. And she'll win, too. That's the spirit. And when we collect that purse, you'll get the $8 and the interest, too. Okay. Come on, boy. Mr. Chick. Yeah? Do you mind if I just take the $8? I'm afraid of that interest. All right, Smokey. And I want you to remember one thing. As long as you ride for Chick Williams, always be honest and ride to win. Yes, sir. That's the stuff. How about a little service here? All right, Ann. Bacon and eggs for the big racing man. I'll pay you this afternoon for breakfast this morning. I think I ought to give it to fresh and delivery. I've got five bucks on it for this afternoon. Oh, you're not so dumb. And with what you win this afternoon, you can make a party bet on it for the King's Plate and the odds. King's Plate? You are ambitious. Why not? Listen, who have you got to ride for you this afternoon? You know Evan. He came up this morning and off to ride for me. How's that for a break? Well... Now listen, you have fresh delivery in the paddock in plenty of time. I'll be watching. Oh, good luck, Chick. And don't forget about those instructions I gave you for the jockey. Anything you say, honey. Come on, come on, bring on the bacon and eggs. Always thinking about food. No. Let her break fast. Watch that she doesn't bear out in the turns. And they'll never catch in the home stretch. Now go to it.
That was tough luck, chicks. She's a fine little filly. With a little more training, she'll be in stake race company. She should have won. <laughs> Boy, you're talking like a racehorse owner already. I'll know better next time. I got the kind of ride I paid for from Evan. How much did you pay him? He rode for nothing. Well, you can hardly blame this boy. Maybe not. Come here, Evan. You did all right, boy. Don't think it wasn't tough to pull that silly. Nearly tore my arms out. That baby's got plenty of heart. Well, I think I'll go and buy me a hamburger. Steven? He's in his office. Hello, Steve. Come on, up, Foster. What are you laying in the third tomorrow? Seven, two and even, sweet briar. Eleven to five, special delivery. Special delivery, huh? So well, that's where the smart money is. Well, you ought to know. Give a thousand on sweet Brian. It's a bet. Be able to handle it yourself? I don't know. I may have to work somebody off out of town. But now that you've made it, I may as well tell you it's a sucker's bet. William's horse is going to take it away. Is that right? That's what makes horse racing. Well, I'm going to have Smokey ride tomorrow. He can get the most out of the filly. And besides, you get the apprentice weight allowance. Gee, Ann, I didn't think about that. Say, you know a lot about racing. Mm, some things. Hey, Mike, you know more than any of us. What's wrong around here? Take that race today. There's something I didn't like about it. Something funny. Mike, what's your opinion? I haven't any. I wasn't there. Well, well, if it isn't a big stable owner. Still singing the blues about the race you lost? <laughs> you can't win them all, you know. Can he, Mike? But Special Delivery's gonna win her race tomorrow. If Sweetbriar dies in the night, racing is funny. Yeah, it's too darn funny around here to suit me. And someday I'm going to find out where the Joker is. Here, Chick, give these to Smokey. Thanks, Ann. I'm going over to the Ritz now. See you in the morning, eh? I'll be there. Wait a minute, Chick. Here. Give these to special delivery from me. A little present from an old horseman to a game little animal. Thanks, Mike. Glad to see you're keeping yourself busy, Smokey. Here's some sandwiches, courtesy of Miss Ann. Thank you. And for you, Duchess, from an old horseman. And he called you a game little animal. Don't worry about that little horse, Mr. Kid. That little horse and me has got an understanding. I put her under contract to win. Well, Smokey, win's the word. The Williams stable rides to win. And when you're head jockey, that's what I want you to tell all your boys. Is it all right to come in? Any time. It's the famed old Williams hospitality. Hiya, Chick. Hi, Connors. How's the horse? Good for tomorrow? We don't give out any information on the condition of our livestock. <laughs> I get it. Is it all right to talk? Anything you have to say to me, you can say in front of Smokey Sims, head jockey of the Williams stable. I made a little bet for you today, Chick. $200. Hey, that's mighty nice of you. I'm glad you think so much of special delivery. It was on Sweetbriar at six to one. Yeah? Then we both lose. Special delivery wins the race tomorrow without a cent riding. Two hundred dollars at six to one is twelve hundred dollars, Chick, and no gamble. Sure. Twelve hundred will clean up a lot of debt, Chick. A lot of dough, Foster. 
Don't talk in bunches. What are you driving at? Just this. You lose to win. You can make it look good, but instruct your jockey to pull the horse. I don't pull my horse, and I don't pull my punches. We sure to Mr. Kick. Ain't nobody gonna mess her out the way in the stable. Hello, boy, Smokey. Now, this is your first race for me, and make it a good one. Me and that little horse is going to try awful hard. And if we win this first, we'll draw up a new contract. Full cash. And no interest. Cash on the nail. Cash for you, cash for me, and cash for the feed man. And a new entrance fee for special delivery in the King's Plate. Miss Annan told me all about how the other horse is running this race. She's been having the clock on all of them. Yeah? Jockey's up! There we go, Smokey. B breaks fast, takes rail position. Special delivery going on the outside, a little wide. Sweet Briar is coming up behind Susan B. They're coming up in the quarter now. Briar is broken into a two-length lead. She's followed closely by special delivery, but special delivery is coming up on the outside, making a hard task of it. They're coming up at half now. Anthony's riding hard up alongside of Susan B., but Sweet Briar still holds that lead. Well, there's special delivery coming around on the inside. She's got the inside position and coming around is the end of the stretch. She's breaking through the... She's in a pocket. No. No, she's through. Here they come. Down the side. Inside position. Sweet Briar is trying to hold that lead, but losing it now. Special Delivery is having a beautiful run. They're coming down the stretch. She's abreast of Sweet Briar. Special Delivery is out ahead. One, two, three, four lengths. It's going to be a walk. Special Delivery is away out. Five, six, and across the line, the winner by six lengths. Hold the just on a minute now, and we'll give you the odds and the time on that race. 150, I hear it called by the loudspeakers down there. That's a new record for the course by special delivery. I told you to wait a while before you sank all that dough on Advocate. Now you've got William's horse to contend with. Never mind what you told me. Well, then, what's your score? You bet 10,000 at 4 to 1 on Advocate. And I spread it around. I'll have to make good if he muffs. Maybe he won't muff. Well, so much the better. But you don't sound so sure. Why don't you hedge? Cover yourself on special delivery. What odds? 3 to 2. She'll be the even money favorite tomorrow. I'm going to take it plenty on the chin there. I've taken quite a bit of special delivery money. Even if you lose your ten grand on that gate, I'll still be in the hole. I think I know a way to pull us both out. You better. And if you have any ideas of running out on me, I know ways to collect that you've never heard of. men have chased a few touts, but that's not what we're after. It's somebody else that's responsible. Does anyone know anything about this fellow Williams who won the third yesterday? He's the chap that used to write the column on the bulletin. Nothing wrong with his character. Nothing? Nothing except that race. A boat race, that's what it was. What makes you think so, Robert? That's special delivery. Her first time out, she's seven in a field of eight horses. Yesterday, she wins by six lengths in better company. The answer is that someone's been tampering with the jockeys. I thought we had that situation cleared up. But evidently we haven't. Then we better clean it up before the king's plate. Naturally. 
I had a check on every rider in the track, contract or freelance. Not one of them had been approached that we could discover. We pride ourselves on keeping this track clean of all crooked influence. If it doesn't stay that way, it will reflect on racing in general. We must do something. Hop in, Mike. I'll drive you home. Thanks, boss. Try just as soon walk. Come on, get in. I want to talk to you. Where's it in? Over the stable with chicks. I think they're going to sit up all night with special delivery. The horse sick? No, the horse is perfect. They just want to see that nothing happens to her between now and the King's Plate tomorrow. I see. You think a lot of land, don't you, Mike? Naturally. She's my daughter. Say, what do you mean? Well, uh, skip it. How much use have you got for a boyfriend? Lots, now that I know him better. I don't understand what you're getting at. Just this. Some moment's bliss to hear you whisper, I love you. Sweetheart, it thrills. It's old as the hills, but it's new to me. Everything. First place, it only costs a few dollars to get married. Who are you going to get married to? I haven't quite made up my mind yet. The pinch, I'll take you. So you better stand by. I don't know any other girl that'd make your wife and a horse train at the same time. That gives you an advantage. I'll bear that in mind. The honeymoon will cost about a thousand. Too much. And silent, who's running this honeymoon? And then with what's left of the purse, we'll buy some more horses. Wait a minute. You don't want to spend it all at once. You know, you haven't won that race yet. And a lot of things can happen. How would Ann feel if she found out about you? I mean the whole story, starting way back, long before you came up here. I made up for that in a thousand ways. And if she ever finds out, it'll be you who'll tell her. No, no, not me. I told you what that waiter at the jockey club did me to, what the stewards are going to do. Then you're in the same trouble. Oh, you're wrong. I never spoke to a jockey in my life. Connors did the talking, you did the paying off. Connors can get away. So can you. But not so easily. It's the last thing I'll ever ask you to do, Mike. I'm pulling out after the King's Plate tomorrow. But a special delivery wins, I'm staying. And it will be you that will be going away. Maybe for a few years. You wouldn't ask me to hurt that horse, would you? Oh, no. You got me all wrong, Mike. No rough stuff. It's just that Adley Kid has got to win that race. William's horse. Special delivery's been pulled before. She can be pulled again. Smokey's her job. Yes, but Williams is a owner. Now, here's the proposition. Does it mean more for Williams to win the King's Plate than for Ann to know the... All right. Let's go. Then it's settled. Seven fifty for the honeymoon, and the rest for new horses. Hey, Smokey. But she lives in the beauty Right. Now drive Miss Ann home and come back and get yours. Good night, kid. just left. Yes, I know. I saw her go. Sit down. You look worried, Mike. What's on your mind? 
to make you any happier, Anne and I are going to be married tomorrow. That is, after we win the king's plate. No chance you'll lose it? Why? Not a ghost of a one. With you rooting for it, and Anne and me, and Smokey riding, how can we miss? And if you want to do yourself some good, empty the baby's bank on special delivery. And listen, mate, if you've got an extra ten, buy me a ticket, too. I'll pay you back out of the purse, sure. You'll do me a lot more good as advocate, Wayne. Advocate? A lot of faith you have in your daughter's training methods. No, a different reason. I'd rather die than tell it you. You love Anne, don't you, Chip? Crazy about her. I told you we we're going to be married. And you wouldn't do anything that would hurt her, would you? Of course not, Pop. Why? Say, what are you driving at? I want you to throw that race tomorrow. Stop kidding. Why, that's like telling Anne and I we can't get married. I mean it, Chick. Come on, Mike. What's the trouble? You think the bankroll on Advocate? No. I'll give it to you straight. It's Foster. He's got me where he wants me. Oh, and money? Yes. But I wish it was only that. I'm in with him. I've been doing his paying off whenever he fixed a jockey. I even paid Evans when he pulled your horse. Tell me about it, Mike. Well, there isn't much to tell. Foster is in over his head on Advocate. He's afraid to come to you with a proposition. Yeah, he found that out. And he knows he's got me. I don't care what it means to me. I'm finished on this track or any other track. It's just you kids. You're starting out. And you'll finish where you start if my dirty record comes up. I see it, Mike. Foster's smart. He's done the only thing he knows will reach me. Through you and Anne. That's his way. <laughs> it's only a horse race. I never had anything anyway. I have to laugh when I think how Anne and I had all our winnings spent on a wedding. I'm a racing man, Mike. I shouldn't get married. The whole thing was a silly idea anyway. Now, Chick. Ah, don't worry about me, Mike. I'll sell the horse. You know what we racing men can do with a stake. Gonna win. Oh, yeah, sure. You better get some sleep, Smokey. Yes. So good. Oh, you'll feel better after the race. Mike gonna be at the track today? Why, he better or I'll disown him. What about last night? Okay, I guess. I saw O'Malley coming out of William's stable. Take this over to Steve. What, another grain on Advocate? You must be pretty sure, boss. Yes, and you better be, too. Don't move around like that, baby. You've got to look nice when you come up before the judge after the race. And you've got to get ready yourself, Smokey. Yes, Miss Ann. 
One more whip with the chamois and I'm off. I've got a way in. And you've got to be the nicest looking horse as well as the fastest. That's right. <laughs> No. Seems funny to have our wedding depend on a horse. I'm all excited. Are you, Chick? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is that all you can say? What's the matter with you anyway, Chick? You didn't seem interested this morning in what your horse was doing. Of course I was. You don't seem to care if it wins or loses. You'd want her to win more than anything else in the world, wouldn't you? Why, of course, Chick. So much depends on it. For any reason she loses, I'm going to sell her. And half the money's yours. What are you talking about? Uh, don't pay any attention to me. I'm going over to the paddock. Aren't you going to watch the race with me? Oh, oh, sure. I'll see you later. of money on special delivery? Too much to suit me. If she comes in, a lot of bookmakers are going to get out their crying towels. Well, don't worry, she won't. I don't know about special delivery. They say the postman always rings twice. Well, so long. Wrap up my money in bundles of flowers. Sam give you any instructions? Yes, but this morning after exercising, the only instruction she gave me was to go out there and win that old king's place. Well, uh, you know I'm the owner, don't you? Why, you sure is. You're supposed to take my instructions and nobody else's. Well, I thought Miss Ann... Never mind what Miss Ann told you. You've been around racetracks long enough to know that you're supposed to take the owner's instructions and ask no questions. Why, sure, Mr. Chip. Well, then listen to me and do what I tell you. Special delivery isn't going to win the king's plate. <laughs> Mr. Chick, that is the best one I heard. Special delivery ain't going to win the king's plate. Mr. Chick, you is funny. She mustn't win. Why, you can't keep that little horse from winning. You just can't. Well, you're going to, and those are my instructions. Mr. Chick, you don't mean you want me to pull special delivery? That's what I want you to do. And don't ask me why. Mr. Chick, you told me yourself to always be honest and right to win. Shut up and do what I tell you. Please, Mr. Chick. I couldn't do that. Now will you do what I tell you? Mr. Foster, eh? Yeah, all six of them. 32 caliber. Let's go down the rail, Chick. Get a better view of the race. Gum this thing up. Now 
Next race, the King's Plate. Here they come on the parade to the post, a fine lot of horse flesh and a crack group of boys riding them all. On number one, we have Conroy, better roll. On number two, there's Evans up on Advocate. And number three is Sims on special delivery. Smokey is smiling on three. Uh-oh, he's frowning. Number four, Wilson up on Rosario. The timepiece, number five, is being ridden by Woods. And Collins, number six, is on Rosedale. Seven is Thompson up on Willowvale. Evans, get that horse in there. Someone help advocate in there. Smokey, get your horse up ahead there. They're off. There's Rosario breaking fast to take the rail position. Advocates is better off. Quick on the heels. And special delivery is coming up on fourth place, the outside. They're going into the first turn now. And Rosario is breaking out into half a length lead. Advocate in better roll, second and third, and special delivery a little wide and in fourth place, with the rest of the field starting to lose ground. They're going around the far turn now. Rosario is breaking into a lead of a length. Advocate in second place, and better roll in third place. Special delivery is still a length behind in fourth place, and the rest of the field are dropping off. Rosario is now three lengths out, and Advocate and better roll are coming up. Well, they're breaking down that. Rosario is dropping back as Advocate and Better Roll are creeping up and Special Delivery still a length behind, two and three. At the half mile, looks as though Rosario is practically back now to a length. She's lost all her ground as Advocate and Better Roll have crept up on her. Special Delivery is still in fourth place and trying hard, but doesn't seem to pick up that ground. It looks as though the race, though, will really be between those first four. Rosario is still holding on a half a length lead. Better roll in second position now, changed with Advocate, who is holding down third, and Special Delivery is up in fourth position. They're all grouped as they come around now into the stretch. And here they come right down. At the pole, it's Rosario by half a length, Advocate and Better Roll, and here comes Special Delivery down through a pocket. She's right through and coming down. Oh, Evans has got him. Evans has got Smokey there, holding up Special Delivery and taking him in towards the rail, trying to hold Special Delivery up. Evans is putting the whip on Sims, and can Sims take it? And besides, he's taking special delivery right through and across the line, a half a length the winner. <laughs> Calling Mr. Williams. Calling Mr. Williams. Will Mr. Williams come to the judges' stand? Calling Mr. Williams. Oh, Ted, we won the race. Never mind. Come on, get your dad. We've got to beat it. What for? Hey, they're calling you. The whole thing's blown up. We've got a chance to get away. Not until we collect the purse. We haven't got time. Where's Mike? He's in the storage office. We got him already. No, I sent him. Listen, he told me the whole story. All right. But he's not going to take the rap all by himself. testify against this man, Foster. But you're not going to get off scot-free. I'm willing to take what's coming to me. Foster's the fellow we're after. Sir? You've got him, gentlemen, with the compliments of the Williams stable. Thanks, Williams. Foster, O'Malley has told us all about his deal with you and Connors. It's too bad if you were out in characters like you creep into this game. But we... Uh... You haven't got anything on me. No? No. Just enough to rule you off every track in the association for life. Now you get out of here. Mr. Williams, as winner of the King's Plate, we are happy to present you with this 